and in that moment she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal there's no difference there They're... i am in control of uh, they can't technically I change the contract and what isn't and do you know that every partner has their own unique contract? Especially dependent on their size. And she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this. So it was... You can do that. Just not as a partner. Down the body. And then she turned and ran. I can stream on multiple platforms, just not at the same time. I can end my stream right now and start a stream on YouTube, and I'm not breaking any of the contracts. Also, you can stream concurrently, you just can't stream the same content. I can stream right now at the same time. I just can't stream the same thing. So if I directly copy the, what I'm doing right now from with the same webcam and the same screen, that is a breach. But if I get another cam and stream me sitting in the office with all the screens, I could do that. That's not breaking the contract. People fail to realize this. Really, we need to be thankful that we have a platform that allows us to find people that want to watch us to play video games that in that basically we can get revenue from with no investment other than our time and putting the content out. Where else can you do that shit? I just decided to turn on my cam today and get in front of the people that want to watch this game live with me. People need to be more grateful and quit expecting shit too. You gotta earn what comes your way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was great. I've never bitched about getting paid 50-50. I just keep grinding, not by turning on the cam, just keep doing more and more and more. I mean, I'm not big by any means. We have 15 viewers right now, you know? But we also have some of the biggest giveaways of anyone my size on all of Twitch. And how do we do that? I fucking made it possible, didn't I? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy. Because you're juicy ass, isn't it? I realize <laughs> investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision <laughs> by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh, fuck. Oh, we pulled the plug last time. Stanley, you need to be the one to do this. To re there we go, we answered it this time. Well, that's not new. It's been around for a minute. I was in the beta. Not my thing. The, the vampire masquerade or whatever. Bloodline. Whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Blue and red, wasn't this on the checklist? I think it was. I've played it in the beta, and that's just not for me. It's cool, but it's not for me. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. 
Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly There's nothing else for me to do, to boy. Him. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, ah. fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild ah. the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Ah. And so he began to fantasize More the fuck's about his TV. job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the I don't earth. see no TV, goddammit. Excited him terribly. And time with the boys? So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. What are we he doing here? Through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And a baby? The Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Messed up, over bro. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. How could there possibly Many be? Many of those collectibles. Whoa. In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same the fuck just happened? Has. Nothing has changed. Thanks for the lurk, homie. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. Camaro, what do you think? Will you be here to watch if I do Black Mesa? You heard of Black Mesa? And I'm trying to Call an Uber. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, cool vibes? he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to I think it'll be a... He won't stop. Black Mesa is uh, Stan, like a remake by a third-party company of Half-Life. And Valve was so impressed that they kind of like took it as their own. Like, So that intrigues me. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? You played through the Half-Lives, right? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I want to play Half-Life Alex so I bad. I to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different. Oh my gosh. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please die. Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Really? What part? I guess that maybe years ago. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Mm. God damn. To the Don't ever play the game Visage then. That will game will drive you nuts. Those puzzles are hard. You ever play Mist? I did that playthrough. All these puzzle games. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his No Mist. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. So we went there, we went... Did we go down? Fuck, I can't remember if we went down. Uh, Mist is very puzzly. Like, it's just a puzzle game. But eager to get back to business... But Visage was harder than Mist. We've been down there already. Did I go down here? Fuck, I can't remember. 
and got back on track. I don't think so. We're going down. Did I go down here? Fuck, I don't remember. I don't want to get stuck in that loop again. That's what I don't want to get stuck in. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed Whoa. to go... Um, uh, Let's see if it lets me in the door. Because it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me last time. Let's see. Oh, you fucker. Mmm. No, not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We We're missing two collectibles, right? To, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's that over there. It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. We're literally replaying the game. Co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley, wait. Oh, wait. What? No. I'm no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the mm -hmm. monsters? Did you move the story somewhere or... A... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find what's the this story. door. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over there and we over go. again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? You fucker. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. The bucket has been like gone, gone. Memo. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might oh, shit. bring this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? None of these doors even click. Oh, oh too soon. Aha! I knew what did I miss? miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way Please. and retrace our steps. An identical playthrough in sequence of the uh, first time we played through. Maybe this still is the first time. I have no fucking idea. 
Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Or do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Yay! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Oh no. All right, oh, here we go. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Go to solitaire? See? The line knows the line where TM. the story is. The so line. This direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, our oh, that's fucked. a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself. Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now we can oh. both agree that we the went the wrong way. Existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh, help me. Making sure I don't miss any one of those stand-actables, whatever we're calling them. Wait, cut the music, go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Hmm? All right. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, no, 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 not again. Not. Mm. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Boy, Restart. pirate. What is that? You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. All this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in? Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Fucking door was that? Now, 
Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Hmm. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. <laughs> no lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. It, TM? Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me... That's what this is. It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game for eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well... Who consulted me? Why don't I get We're on the fifth, six, seven, eight. Get a say in all of this. Is it really? No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. It's about to get fifth restart. Here we go. Stopped. Does that mean? Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right we now. We are on the fifth well, restart, homie. Quickly. Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... There it is. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's see what's on the board here. A large room, lots of boxes, somewhere both red and blue. That one wasn't checked before, the stairs one. A large room with boxes, somewhere both red and blue. That's upstairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. And green. Maybe. I don't remember if that's red and blue. This is red and blue right here. Oh. Ew.
Never been here before. That didn't work. Hmm, okay, nothing changes here. Over here. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Blue and red, and what was the other one? This was too much Lots of boxes. To too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, the guttural retching of life from a man denied any hope, any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. But when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could it mean? Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's... Why do I get an ad if I'm a sub? Was not. For all That's weird. Keypad guarded the really? Secret of Is the ad in the chat and not over the stream? Code so devious and so random that no man could ever hope yep. to guess it. Yep. So you get ad-free stream, but there's ads in the chat. Statistically... Nearly impossible. I just no I noticed that recently too. Ever. Now I wonder if, since you're a sub, if I get a portion of that ad revenue still. Fuck! I missed the code. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly. Two eight four five. By simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input hmm. Oh, it's reverse. The ad is big and I'm tiny. He stepped into the newly opened mm. passageway. I wonder if that's only on mobile or is that on, are you on desktop doing it? Hmm. I've seen it the other way where the ad is in the The fuck? I mean, as long as the ad revenue goes to the person that you're subscribing and you can still watch it, then that's okay. Not the best, but it's okay. Kamikaze Gaming in the house. What's up, dude? I just got news that the day before has been delayed by a year. What's up with that? Delayed by one year till March 2023, as they want to switch the whole game over to Unreal Engine 5 before releasing it. Yeah, I remember your name. What's up, dude? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. We didn't do this way yet. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Um, let's make sure. Nope, press refresh. Nope, it's not. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. We're going right into death. Let's go. Bloop. As the machine whirred into 